How about we start a Titanfall video with... Mmm, what would be appropriate? What would be appropriate? Okay, I guess this would be Crushed by Titanfall. That's actually the official... That's the official wording in the... What? I've never even noticed that. Alright, let's get into it. So this is going to be like a combination montage of me just breaking down some of these clips. Some of them are a little bit longer while the last one's actually the longest one. And it's just going to let me go over some solid Titanfall gameplay. So I'm going to commentate this for the parts that I found were interesting. Uh, to me it was just noticing where this guy was as soon as he shot me. You see that you get those cues from the arrows and stuff like that. The sound. Um, you, you can almost feel the bullets hitting you in a sense when you put all the information together. And I really like the approach with the grapple as well, so that's why I wanted to show you guys that. And in this clip, which you have no context for, don't worry because we're going to be covering this clip in depth. Right now we just have one clear goal for this Titan, and that's make sure that it gets to the other side so I can inject on top of them. And I really believe in this. For some reason I'm, I'm just like sold on the idea that it doesn't matter about the health, that I need to get over here because it's going to pay off. <laughs> that doesn't work at all. I'm trying to hip fire this thing out of the air. Seems like I'm going to need some assistance. Yeah, a lot more comfortable this way. Alright, there's one more, right? We could take a Spitfire, but we don't need that. We have a we have a G2. This was just the flavor of the week for me. I may be doing a more in-depth video on it, and... Uh, well, well, we can wait on that. And in this one here, it's just because there was a lot going on. Like, I knew what I was getting into here. I've already been shooting this guy. I knew I was going to be at a disadvantage. I just wanted to see, you know, how I can make this work. And it kind of does, kind of doesn't. Like, this was a big mistake, though. You can't uh, look at an ion that's doing its core. You have to keep running and try to cut the angle. Because it really does make the ion slow. And the only thing you can do, well, first take out the pilot. The only thing you can do, sorry, we have to talk about this right now. Timing out the jump for when he lasers. That's uh, windows of attack. I talked about that in some video. I may have even pulled the video, but uh, that's always super important if you want to know when you're about to get shot. You call it game intuition, but really it's putting certain certain information together in order to tell you that somebody's about to shoot you. Usually it just comes down to you can tell where the nice sweet spot is, especially when you start to plateau. That's that's an easy tell for when you're about to get shot. You know what? Things are going by so quick I can barely talk about them. I love that one because it was just like so close yet so far. He did die to the gravity star by the way, if you did not catch that. I was gonna do some light editing, but you know what, I just like all my footage just raw so you can take everything in because I think that's really important so you can see a little bit more about how it's set up, like you saw this guy run by. You have a lot more control of the grappling hook if you keep yourself close to whatever it happens to be you're grappling to because then you don't waste much energy reeling yourself in. That's why you're able to actually infinitely just stay on a rooftop or on any wall. As long as you're close enough to it, you won't run out of grapple meter. Alright, now we're going back into that clip where you saw me go against the campers because they were in that tube for a really long time and now you're going to be able to see just how long. I'm trying to adjust this thing because I really hate that I'm limited in how fast I can aim down sights. Like to me it's too wild. I, I can't handle it but I know that I need it because I struggle so much in close distance. If I'm going up to somebody in close, I just don't have the speed to track them. They will fly right by me. But I turn it any higher, I think I'm going to lose accuracy at mid and long, so I figured I'm just going to have to be stuck playing it uh, at those distances. I'm sure some people make it work, but I know I struggle with it. It seems, it seems pretty hard from my end. And that's pretty much the, uh, the G2 video <laughs> there. We won't, even have to, we won't even have to make it now. That was pretty much the gist of uh, my experience with the G2. It's like, it's good if you stay at mid, but meh. Everything else is like, meh. If you're going to use a G2, I don't see why you just don't fully commit and embrace the Spitfire user that you really want to be. I would always want to face G2. I find the G2 a lot more balanced than the Spitfire. I think everybody would agree with that. So if you got rid of the Spitfire and then you can keep the G2, I'd be like, right on. By the way, that Scorch, he had no play. I don't know, he he almost half expected me to go challenge him. Which sometimes I would, but, you know, if I don't have to, then... That is the Scorch burden that you actually have to be on aggro all the time. If not, you're just like... You're just not doing much. 
The thing is, you can't just simply turn around like another Titan because you're just so slow. Like a Ronin could be like, oh, there's there's a roadblock here, no problem, I'll just sprint to the other half of the map and slay some more pilots. Just any any Titan with two, uh, any normal Titan that has two, two dashes. I can't take Legion seriously, especially since I'm an Ion. Like, I'm just like, you're slow, your attacks are slow, your bullets hurt, and you're... But they don't hurt me. I think other people just run away from you, like... I just don't see him being a particularly tough opponent. The only time I see him be tough is if he's support, which means that he's got a teammate that he runs with, or he's good at just not being out of position. Because I just find that that Titan gets caught out of position so easily. By the way, this is not me being good. As you can tell, that's that's him messing up. Like, he missed one of his slides, and, well, it was over from there. And I feel like that's how you die the most in Titanfall. It's not that somebody's good, it's that usually you end up messing up. I feel like that's the biggest factor. I feel like when I die, it's because I mess up more than somebody else playing me. Does that make sense? I hope it does. It makes sense to me. I just spit stuff out and the rest can get sorted in the comments section. And right now is probably one of the scariest times to be a pilot when I'm an Ion because I'm constantly looking to throw bullets back at you. All bullets that you catch are good, but the Legion bullets are especially lethal against uh, pilots. It's it's like you're just shooting them with a super shotgun. It's the spread is just like <laughs> everything everything in in its way it just turns to confetti. By the way, I'm going to be getting an ultra-wide monitor. Like, once I started upgrading, I just can't stop. Now I have to do the whole setup. I may even have to get some more RGB now. Ay ay ay. This is when they start uh, getting up in the tubes. And honestly, I like the tubes. Like, I like being in the tubes and I like fighting people that are in the tubes. Like, I just like tubes. Tubes for all, you know? It's just another tower to me. It's just a place to try to attack. Like, I like the idea of storming the castle in this game. Because you can actually storm the castle. You can climb the walls. You can jump over the moat. You can take a catapult over, which is essentially ejecting from your titan. I don't know how I feel about the archer, I just don't find it's good enough. Like obviously because I'm Ion it's even worse, but even even looking at it from the perspective of uh, of other titans, like especially if you're like it's pretty good against striders, I, I, I definitely don't think it's good against striders, it gives them they have like two to three dashes to get behind cover or break the lock or use their smoke for the first one which kind of gives you away, I, I just don't find it good. I do not. I always find that the laser is the uh, the full package. Good against pilots, good against titans, um, no charge hack, like I don't care for charge hack at all. I think you just give away your position repeatedly and uh, you haven't done as much damage. Regardless, I always find that the rhythm to, to a really good titan fight as a pilot is that you're popping in and out to shoot that, that titan like unsuspectedly from different places. So I think you're always getting into cover, like, I like when I use my laser, shoot somebody, and I instantly go into cover, like, they're gonna see, like, the general direction due to the way that you get that little cursor when you get hit, but it makes a big difference if they actually don't see you. It throws them off at least a little bit more than, than if they see you, so it's actually nice to poke out, hit somebody, and then just get out of the way for a bit, go do something else. Because a real good Titan player, like, you, can, you can't shoot them too much repeatedly without them killing you. You have to take little moments of cover. At least that's my opinion. And I found that I've, I've been getting really long Titan fights out of my eye on. Like, that's definitely my primary. And I find that I can get it to live pretty long. And that's without throwing um, the super class. I'm not even gonna give it away. I'm gonna keep that secret to myself. Uh, but I'm sure we'll probably be covering. Yeah, you, know, you know, I'm always talking about something, and I'm overdue for an Ion episode, and uh, yeah, we're definitely going to be getting into that very soon. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of this video. I, I guess uh, it was more so. I, I don't even know how to classify this video. 
I guess it was just me talking and just showing you guys some things that I thought were pretty cool. And you know what? I never get around to actually doing it the way that I want to. These Because this video usually, what I, what I envision is that I get to talk about some really cool clips, especially the parts that really interest me. But the problem is that as the montage is happening, I just get off track because there's, there's just so many things happening sometimes at one set. What I wanted to do was originally duplicate the montage, talk about it twice, and try to point out like things that I missed the first time around. I don't know if that's like too much uh, of the same thing, but... Uh, I, I think I'm gonna actually try doing one of those videos exactly like that because then I think it's gonna be it's it's gonna make a lot more sense and I think it's gonna be easier for me to just keep track of myself because I know I get off of course uh, but this was one of those moments where where I just realized how bad that hip fire is and I'm like no I'm definitely gonna need this gravity star if I want to jump in the exact same way so it's just like a slight improvement on the last run which you know is kind of what uh, this whole channel is about just slightly improving each time and with that, we're back to the beginning of this video, and uh, we're going to call it. Hope you guys enjoyed it on paper. Cut to you, and I'll see you all next time.